Welcome to lecture number 43 of the series Unreal 5 for Arquis and in this lecture we'll start working on our blueprints to create real-time interactive walkthrough okay so let's get started first let me briefly explain that what blueprints actually are okay functionally blueprints are pretty much the same thing as programming in C++ they both can give pretty much the same results okay in C++ you have to write a script or a code by following a specific syntax and then you can have your desired outputs you can have same results without coding or scripting by using blueprints which is a node based method okay so to make it easier for artists unreal engine has provided a different way of programming which doesn't necessarily require coding or scripting we can just interconnect between different nodes to achieve those same results okay so the first thing that we're going to do today is to add a first person character which will help us to navigate around our scene during the real time interactive walkthrough so i'll add this character by clicking on this add button and I'll select add feature or content pack it will open a new window and I'll select this first person character and I'll add this into my project okay yeah now what we need to do is we need to tell Unreal Engine to use this first person character to navigate around the scene okay so we can do that by going into window world settings and under this game mode override drop down menu I'll select blueprint first person game mode this one okay yeah let's save everything and now if I'll click on this play button we have a character in our scene I can press spacebar on my keyboard to jump you can also see the hands of the character okay yeah let's move outside let me increase the camera speed I'll click on this play button it can navigate pretty much the same way like we used to but one thing now this character cannot do is to fly on Z axis using the Q and E buttons on the keyboard okay Let's go into the bathroom. Yeah, we have a problem. We cannot go inside the bathroom. Maybe our bathroom entrance is not big enough for this character. Okay, so we're going to do a few changes with this first person character. I'll open the blueprint of this character. Okay, this is the event graph. Let's go into the viewport and we can see our first person character with arms and a camera. Okay. First of all, I'm going to select this cylindrical collision and let's decrease the radius. Let's maybe tweak this down to 35 or 30. I think 35 would be okay. Yeah. I'll compile these changes and and I'll play the level now I can easily get through this entrance I'm gonna delete these arms because this is gonna be a real-time interactive walkthrough not an FPP game okay so I'll open this first person character blueprint I'll select these arms and I'll press delete key on my keyboard let's compile these changes I'll click on play and now as you can see that we don't have those arms anymore I will also remove this jump functionality but first let's tweak the height of the character because I think it is much taller I'll press escape on my keyboard let's open this first person blueprint I'll select this cylindrical collision and let's take this down to maybe like 80 yeah I'll compile these changes and let's play the simulation yeah, I think this height is okay Maybe I should bring down the height a little bit. I'll open this first person blueprint and uh, maybe let's try 70. I'll compile these changes. Let's run the simulation. Yeah, I think this looks okay. We 
we can also bring down the speed of the character because I think it is moving too fast. Let's open the blueprint of this character. I'll select my character movement and we can bring down the walk speed to maybe 400. Let's try 400. I still think it is a little bit fast. Yeah, let's bring this down to maybe like 320 or 330. Yeah, I think this is better. Yeah, okay. I'll save everything. Okay, so yes, that's it for this lecture. In this lecture, we added a first person character and we briefly discussed about blueprints. Okay, in the next lecture, we'll animate this window on X axis such that when our character will come closer to this window in order to enter the bedroom, the window will slide on X axis allowing the character to move through this entrance. Okay. So yes, I'll see you guys in the next lecture.